death by the pistons. And that's where we'll leave it with the pistons squishing us. So thank you guys for watching, right, subscribe, do all of this stuff. Next time on Let's Play Rush Again, we're gonna make it our way through the nefarious space station and go after and blow up and atomize those spaceships. Yeah. All right, guys. See you guys later. Bye bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank a Crack of Time, or Future Crack of Time, whatever. Part, uh, 50. 50, wow, alright, 50 parts. Um, today I do have a guest with me, um, he's gonna help me, cause I am gonna sit down and I'm gonna finish this game so I can freaking upload it and be done. Cause... Whoa, that's good. Yep, <laughs> it's shots. Everyone knows. Yeah! I know I'm already in other projects with Blue, but this one's so much more awesome, so I thought I'd join. Yep. In Trash Compactor 714. Alright, so the Trash Compactor just basically nearly killed us. They're really loud. Did you hear that? I did it! Why were you around a Trash Compactor? This doesn't even sound safe. I don't really know. That one was a little too close. Doesn't even sound safe. That just sounds like danger. Yep. Jarred up. So we have to keep moving. Uh, where do we go? Oh, he opened the door. Sweet. And by he, let's go, Cork. I mean God. I mean Cork. If if Cork is God, we're screwed. He's an absolute moron. Shush. He's a moron. Well, I mean God could be a moron. Shush. And look. Hello there. I'm Nurse Shannon. This is Doctor Archibald von Fuzzy Pants and his robotic intern. Gundolf Metal Sprocket. Dr. Nefarious is expecting us. You are not authorized. Prepare to die, Nurse Shannon. <laughs> no, that didn't work. Alrighty, we can talk again. I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something about something. And I forgot about it. So something okay. about God. How he could be oh, stupid. Oh. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I was going to say something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, don't say something right, this thing. You this is really loud, and I'm, I'm, I'm and we're gonna be right back because it, because of how loud it is. I just want to make sure we're fine. Okay, we're back. Small little fix because shots was really quiet. Oh, according to him, I was quiet. I don't know if I was actually quiet, but we'll just take his word for it. Why wouldn't you take my word? Oh, I'm not allowed animal. That's great. Because sometimes, sometimes you like to lie, man. No, no, I don't. I'm not a liar. You are He's lying, lying about lying. See it? See no. It? Look at this no, place. I do not lie. I am Abraham Lincoln. I do not tell a lie. Any liars lie about lies. Nope. Yep. Nope. I tell lies. I tell lies. Look at that. I'm being truthful. I tell lies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling. Now, how do I know you're not lying now? Um, because you're lying about lying, and I'm telling the truth about lying. So therefore, I'm a truth teller. You're a lie giver. <laughs> You you find comfort in telling other people lies, while I find comfort in sometimes telling people lies, but for the most part, telling the truth. All right, lots of lots of robots here. Let's use some the cryo mind glove. For example, remember that time, Blue, when you told me that you loved me, and then it turned out that you didn't love me. That was a lie. Um, yeah, I do. But that's just being honest. That wasn't being honest. That was lying. Oh, that's being honest. Oh yeah, being honest about what? Not loving me? Yep. Because you're a liar. I'll, right, I'll just see gotta, I gotta tell you the truth somehow. Uh, you gotta tell me a, a truth by telling a lie by telling a lie about a truth. Ah, uh, that's just that just blows your mind, doesn't it? Yep. It did. It blew it my mind. It blows my mind. I even figured that out. <laughs> I don't even. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know what I said. Sometimes I think uh, I I am a prophet and. God likes to speak through my tongue. So, so he likes to make you smoke marijuana? Every day, motherfucker, yo! <laughs> smoke the chronic kush, bitch, blur! Just kidding. Only, only uh, Ratchet does that, right? Yeah. Well, how do you think it, gets, it goes through seeing nothing but robots all day and very little organisms himself? And how the fuck did he get a fucking gun that turns people into chickens or something? Well, this one is monkeys. Oh, it's monkeys! Oh, he turns people into monkeys? What the hell? That's totally. He's on some acid or something. Oh, nail! <laughs> right now I'm using a rocket launcher to blow up some robots. How many robots? There's actually tons of robots. And I really uh, wish my guns would upgrade. I thought you were gonna say like three, and I was just gonna be like, well, that's just not enough. <laughs> that's just not enough robots, man. 
You gotta be killing more robots than that. I do need more robots! This is not giving me enough experience. Hey, nabbit. I am dying. That is not a good thing. <laughs> so you're dying, but you need more robots. So you'd die faster if you had more robots. Technically, yes. So technically, you fucked up. Technically, I did your mom. A favor. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Well, that could be taken in both contexts anyways. I did your mom a favor. Well, what was that? I banged the shit out of her pussy, bitch. <laughs> well, no, see, I, I was the whole story that I always do with my friends, I did your mom a favor by making you a sandwich made with, oh. filled with white creamy stuff called mayonnaise. That's hardcore. Your friends like to do that? They're fucking weirdos. I wouldn't bang anybody's mom. Unless that mom was real Who said I banged hot. her? Real hot. I she did your mom like, a favor by making you a sandwich filled with mayonnaise. White creamy stuff called mayonnaise. Well, still, I mean, even so, I wouldn't even joke about it when somebody's Yeah, I cannot them. die right now, so I'm pulling out a weapon that is basically what I call the overkill weapon of this game. It, like, oh, just nom-noms everything. Nom-noms, oh, man. Nom -nom. It's like you have to find, Is it like Turok, you have to find it? Or is it like Turok? No, it's actually... The gun was made, it was a user-made gun. Um, like, it, they had a submission before the game, like, you create your own gun. And this was a game, gun that was created by somebody who was like, Yo, I just want a gun that'll fuck shit up. Yeah. It's called <laughs> the, 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 the... Spiral of Death. Um... Spiral of Death. I'll no, Spiral of Carnage, this one is, is a fully upgraded version of it. Basically, it shoots out three, like, energy-filled blades that go across the ground and just deal lots of damage. Okay, well, I'll look that up. Hold up. Because my thing wouldn't stop. Spiral of... of... car... Oh, well, I guess it's not. There's no YouTube video for it, so maybe you should make your YouTube video. Oh, here it is. No, oh, it's a walkthrough. Walkthrough. Oh, you okay. can watch it. You should, you should just make a video and call it Spiral of Carnage and just show it off. And that's all you do. And that's the video. You'll get like a thousand and eighty thousand views. I'm using the net gun right now. Or whatever it's called. Because it's keeping the enemies at bay and then I don't take damage. Because I, I have three health right now out of 87. Oh god, you should go get that 87 back. Yeah, yeah, I really should. But, you know, I just like living life on the edge. Oh, so you like living life like a crackhead? No! Ah, ah, I'm funny! <laughs> yes, yes, you are. I know, right? Just gonna make sure there's no gold bolts here. I hate to have to go recollect stuff again. I also would like to have health again. It would be really, really beneficial at this current moment. Well, you're SOL. I'm shit out of luck, damn. Shit out of luck, son. You're just gonna have to. Fuck somebody up hard enough, I guess. I don't know. Right now I'm using. Oh, I died. Hopefully, I don't have to redo that entire room. Okay, my feet are cold. It sucks. Yay, I don't have to do that room again. Woohoo! Alright, what gun should I use? I think I have a shotgun. Constructor shotgun. It's a V4 out of V5. Y'all, 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 y'all. Saz. I'm sorry, I'm addicted to that song. <laughs> When I, I step, I don't even know what song you're saying. So. Oh, it's woo ha, got you in check, but bust rhymes, yo. Yo, 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 ah. yo, yo. Hey, yo, when I step up in the place, in your. I think tomorrow I'm gonna do lots of uh, editing to try and get lots of videos done and to get them up. Sound like a good idea? Sounds like a good idea to me. Are they all gonna be in HD? Yeah. Well, then hell yes, it sounds like a good idea to me because it takes forever to upload HD videos. Yep, five hours for me. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I generally yeah. do it over when I'm sleeping, because that way nobody's using the computer, and I don't care that kind. Normally what I do is I do it when I'm standing up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 when I the only ones I, we really shouldn't do are Bomberman probably in HD, because there's really no point. Bomberman in HD? There's a total point to have Bomberman in HD. You know what that point is? What's that point? See Pommy and all his gangster gangsterness. God Drew dang it, this is tough. Ugh. Hey, yo, when I step up in the crib. Keep screwing this up. Oh well, at least my weapons are getting upgraded nicely. I mean, that's all you can do. Uh, can you upgrade the spiral of carnage anymore? Nope. If I, and, I, and I don't want to use it, because it, it really just cheats out this game. 
Well, you should cheap out the game. You should use it all the time. I'd then fly just... through the game then. And that makes it more fun, doesn't it? Sound like my friend who, when he buys a game, instantly cheats on it. Uh, I don't know if I cheated on Twilight Princess when I got it, but I just didn't collect any heart pieces. I didn't do anything. I just went dungeon after dungeon. That's after all I did. Yeah, right? That's what. See, I got. Donna Bell started, like, ragging on me because I was doing that. I was like, hey, yo, man, this is how I play Zelda, motherfucker. Well, that's how I always do it, too. I'll be straight up. I just go through without getting any heart tanks. And then after I beat it, I go back through and I get them. I'm just like, motherfucker, I ain't got time. I gotta say the goddamn world. I ain't got time for heart pieces. I ain't got time for bug collecting. I ain't got time to go upgrade my arrow quiver. I ain't got time to go get a I really didn't care at the time. Also, this is granted, Twilight Princess was when I was just really first starting to touch my toe into the Twilight Universe, really. Or not Twilight, but Twilight Universe. The Twilight Universe, yes. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I was never a big Zelda fan when I was younger. I tried to get into it. I liked Wind Waker. But I never, I, like, it took me the longest time to beat it because of that. Get the <laughs> heart piece, or the Triforce. Triforce I fucking God, hated I hated that. So that. Damn it, I died again. Ah! Stop dying, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Leave me alone. Stop sucking up, man. Get your fucking face on, man. You're a fucking man. Win it. Win it. Bring it home. Bring home the gold. Bring home the gold. I'm sniping right now at the current moment. Oh, what are you doing? Sorry. Sniping. Sniping. Good. Good. That's the best way to do it. You it gotta go for them dome shots, you know. You gotta dome them bitches in the dome pieces. Cap them. Cap them in their asses. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nope, don't know what you're saying. Cause you know, I just don't understand your speech. Well, I'm sorry, I speak Groove Troll! Let's get a groove on! I'm sorry, I speak like I'm out of southeastern Atlanta, Georgia, motherfucker. Not really. I don't even know if that's how south eastern Atlanta, Georgian would sound. Maybe, maybe somebody could tell me if that's how southeastern Atlanta, Georgian would sound. Maybe, maybe I'm from Alabama. Alabama! Or maybe I'm from North Carolina or South, South, South or North. Which one's the redneck one? Uh, South generally. Oh, both. Both. So Carolina. I'm from Carolina, motherfucker. Oh. Ow! I just put my elbow on my knee. Ow! Why'd you do that? Because I was looking for a place to rest my head on my hand, and then I just kind of put it there, and then and then kind of put the weight for my head down on it, and I was like. I kind of felt like I broke my knee a little bit, except not broke my knee. Hey, well, I'm gonna go make all these hard MO MSOEs. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking die again! Ah! <gasps> well. I keep dying stop. in this one part. Stop fucking up! No! God, <laughs> no, I will not stop fucking up! It's a learning process, okay? Of course, a lot of time and efficiency. Give me the time, I'll do just fine. Yeah, LOL, you arrived. <laughs> oh, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Ah, you're killing me, Blue! God! I know I'm punny. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, make, I make really lame jokes, awesome. I know. We both do. It's true fact. But you know what? Somebody at work called me weird. Cause I was just like dancing or doing something, I forget what I was doing, like singing maybe. And I just turned around, I was like, yes, but I know how to have fun. <laughs> and be like, yeah, well, girls just know how to have fun. And why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Well, no, girls see, that wouldn't have helped because it's a girl. <laughs> they said it to me. You see how that works? Oh. You see? That's the slick way to go about it. Yeah? Well, it's because they're all servers. I'm a busboy. So. Servers and buses. Servers are generally women. I don't know why. You know, my work's really sexist. They said they'd never hire a man to be a host. You know why? Because bitches reel in the cash, yo. I know. <laughs> they rake that shit in like it's nothing. I still like, say it's unfair. You just gotta get all on their pretty makeup and them high heels and them, and them tight little skirts and they're all like, Hey, give me money. And then guys are like, Ooh, Oh, I want V4 for my buzzblades. Buzz blades. What? Almost V4 for Buzzblaze. What the hell? Oh, now that the game's quiet. The game is quiet. Why is the game quiet? I fixed it. Okay, I thought I thought I was supposed to shut up for a second because we're going through a cutscene. Not yet.
Not yet. Okay, well, you tell me when we're going to a cutscene. You can be like, hey, we're going to a cutscene. I'll be like, okay, you gotta shut up. Oh my god, more! Holy shit. Well. Holy, holy shnikey. There is too much going on in this one room. Holy sh. Is there far too much? Yeah. That's just ridiculous. A, ri a ridiculous amount of much, isn't it? Oh, there's like. Well, you don't understand there's these giant robots, and there's like five of them in this one room. They're all just like pinpointing at you, just like. Mommy, I give up? And they're just ready to fuck you up, aren't they? Yep. Well, that's horrible. That's just horrible. I don't know other, any other way to say it. That just sounds like a bad time. Doesn't even sound fun. Alright, I got rid of one of them. You gotta Dang get it. rid of all of them. Yeah, Still I do. Not, I'm not doing a good enough job yet. It's just the it Chris. I'm being a bully. Am I being a bully? I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't know that winners were, were coped with. I thought winners were bitched at all the time. Look at, look at Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. I mean, Bill Belichick obviously bill bitches at Tom Brady all the time, and Tom Brady's a winner. <laughs> I'd be bitching at him, too. Be like, dude, that hairstyle? Homosexual. You look like Justin Bieber. Oh, wait. Hey, man. He does not look like Justin Bieber. Because Tom I died Brady again. is older. Oh, hard mode is so hard. Tom Brady is older, and also Tom Brady came first. So therefore, Justin Bieber looks like Tom Brady. Not Tom Brady looks like Justin Bieber. So therefore, Justin Bieber is copying Tom Brady. That's how I see it. How am I not taking damage yet? Oh yeah, I'm in the zone. Oh, I thought I thought you were like, oh yeah, of course, I just jinxed it. <laughs> I would be like, well, yeah, yes you did. <laughs> would you you just get away with it saying that and not jinx yourself? What what do you think this is, man? Country. Oh, there, finally got hit. Country. All my coverage got blown up, though. <laughs> country? What kind of country? Coverage. No, no, a country. You told me it was a country. What country are you living in, motherfucker? I, I understand that there's coverage. Go on my buzz blades! Attack! Will I dodge? Damn. You should just, you should just get a nuke. Did you ever, did you ever think I, that? I don't have the rhino yet. I need one more rhino. piece to it. There's a rhino. Yeah. It's called the rhino. It's R Y N O, and it stands for Rip You a New One. Rip You a New One. Oh, Rip You a New Butthole? I don't know. I don't know. Rip You a New Vagina? This is Rip You a New One. Rip you. Well, it's got to be. <laughs> Obviously, it has to be. There's no other way it could be anything else. Obviously, they have to rip you a new butthole. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's probably what I presume, but. That's the only way I, I, that's the only way I could live my life one day at a time is if I knew that R Y N O stood shush, for shush, 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 shush. Sorry. Can we whisper? Number two, reestablish vendetta against organic life forms. Ah, number three, Iron Sun. is complete. I'm returning to the rendezvous point. Hmm. Must have forgot to tune the auto scaler. Ah, well, close enough. Try your vocal modulator. Test, test. One, two. It works. Now, let's finish this and go home. Are you fucking joking? Oh, okay, now you can talk. Oh, yeah, can I? I, I just get Dr. Nefarious's look now, so now I can be like. I want to go up this elevator. Lawrence! Yes. Bitch! Let me up! <laughs> Bitch! What you think you doing? Shit! You could also, like, punish the minions. Move the minions. I could also kill the minions. You could kill minions? That just sounds ridiculous. How would you want to kill a minion? Let's talk to Lawrence. How may I be of Give me a situation report. Lately I've been hard to reach. I've been so long on my own. Everybody has a private life where we could be alone. Right away, sir. I'm afraid not, sir. Am I supposed to be quiet right now, or is it just really cut with quiet? Just, well, no. You're just thinking, all right. Well, I'll do some entertaining things. No, no, no. It's it's kind of like I was talking to Lawrence. And what is, I've got what subtitles is on, so... Lawrence what? is, uh, is Dr. Nefarious' butler. 
It's hilarious. You, if you actually play it, you'd find the two hilarious. Lawrence and the butler are amazing. Got it. How do I do that? Well, I could only I could only assume as much. But I'm sure you'll think of something. Just remember, keep it on the low, low. Avert your eyes from the exalted one. Nothing to see here. I, I love doing this now, now that I'm in this room. You can go up to like one of the robots and be like, Annihilate him! Annihilate him. All of a sudden a beam just comes out of nowhere and blows him up. Annihilate yo, him! sounds ridiculous, yo. And I go around and I do this, just just for the fun of it. Because bitches don't know when to step off, right? I don't know, I just, I just find it fun to be like, Annihilate him! This beam. Dead. Get out of here, I'm going to obliterate everything that you stand for. Yep. And then he dies. Yep. It makes good sense to me. It seems like the only life I would want to live. <coughs> Demanding that people die, and then after I demand them die, they do. Yep. It's the only way. It is the only way. So... Right now, Blue, what I'm doing while you are, in fact, recording, One second, is I'm One second. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. The hypernova defense laser is quite capable of clearing the debris. Say, would you like to test it out? Uh, sure, I like to shoot stuff. The controls are yours, sir. All right, what's up, dude? I said, while you're doing whatever the heck you're doing, or making your videos, I'm working on my iTunes list, because I got really nothing else better to do. Nice. <laughs> well, I'm blowing up Dr. Nefarious' space station now, at the current moment. Honestly, this is probably what I should do whenever uh, we do Bomberman as well. Whenever we play Bomberman, I should just do this, work on my iTunes list. Uh. <laughs> what? Hey, man, I mean, that's much as... I mean, like, what do I actually do with Bomberman, besides from being pimp and gangster and voice act? Hit people with a spin move. I guess. <laughs> Yo, this looks freaking crazy. What? There's a song called Ill Vibe, and in order to have like ill, the way I like to have my songs titled is every first letter of every word is capitalized. Yep. So it looks like it just looks like I I I I I I vibe. <laughs> Five the third. That's a <laughs> five the third. You've got a third five. You don't you? In the fleet. I yeah. wonder if Lawrence you possesses the up security. In there. You got three types of vibes. <laughs> Lawrence, bitch, call in the fleet. Do it. Has he called in the fleet yet? Oh goody, I get to press a button. I bet he has. <laughs> oh goody, I get to press a button. Oh, does he get to press a button? You shouldn't have to press a button. No, 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 you Lawrence. Lawrence says that. It was, oh, goody, I get to press a button. Is that the butler guy again? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, well. Does he have a British voice? Just, just out of curiosity. British-esque sounding voice, maybe? Dude, are you gonna... Sorry, what? Haha, <laughs> you can kill him. Hey, yo. Alrighty. Hello, Mr. Fleet. Goodbye, Mr. Fleet! Oh, Epic cutscene. Shh, shh. I feel very close to you right now. Haha, <laughs> now that that's taken care of, now that the fleet is utterly destroyed. Stupid fleet. Yep. Alright, got an achievement! Party crasher! Woo! Did you crash a party? Yeah, I kinda just destroyed all of the fleets. Oh, Show all my bus saws! Take care of them! Quick! <laughs> Please! Sounds like, sounds like a shitty game. Yeah, I kind of blew him up. It was a pretty epic cutscene. One of my favorites in the game. Looks really nice. Beautiful. I like that one cutscene I used for the CGP trailer. The 
the one where he gets like his mask blown up or something. I don't know. Something blows up in his face. The green. The, what's his name? The evil guy. Yeah. Oh. When the grenade goes flying and blows up his face. Yeah, it blows up his face. Yeah. You remember which one? You saw that yep. trailer, didn't you? Yeah. Which, by the way, I make the best CGP trailers. When we actually do CGP stuff, I don't know what happened to that. Well, simple. We all got busy. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, we're all still busy, and hopefully over the summer it'll be better, but I don't hold out much hope for that, to be honest, but we'll see. Problem is school. F school. And the problem with me is hopefully going to be that I'm going to start working, so. <laughs> hey, this is, while you guys are in school, it's the best time for me to be doing shit, I think. <laughs> We're gonna be straight up real, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm gonna try to. I'll probably still have weekends. <laughs> Taste track number. Hey, Take dying. out the giant machine. Take him out. Thank you. Ooh, V4, V4, V4 buzz blades. Damage goes up and rate of fire. Woohoo! Oh damn. Rate of fire. I never really understood what a rate of fire does, but now I understand what a rate of fire does. Rate of fire just increases the speed of which how your how fast you shoot. Yes, the speed of which your bullets. The rate speed. at which you can fire at. Exactly. And I don't know why that's useful. I don't think it would be. I mean, a bullet's gonna kill somebody, regardless. Not in this it's game. A bullet. Not well, obviously not in a game made of cartoons and a ratchet or what's his name? What is ratchet? He's is a he lumbox. A He's a lumbox, and what's what's a lumbox? It's like half cat, half human. It looks like half cat, half human, and half squirrel, to be honest, because he's got that really long tail, doesn't he? Yeah. Hello, so it's like a squirrel, and then it's like, it's along with being a squirrel, he's like a... I don't even know. Ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It's basically the... Um, Uh-oh, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, cuts <laughs> it. You sure not that bit of there is? Nefarious, you can't use the clock. Nothing you could want is worth risking the universe. Oh, but there is. And I have you three to thank for it. Initiate super wavy flashback effect. <laughs> Thanks to you and your dim-witted friend here, I found myself drifting through the cosmos. Have you ever spent time on an asteroid? It's surprisingly boring! <laughs> Nothing for a villain to do but dwell on his failure! Then, one day, the fungoid saved us. But still, failure burned inside my circuitry! How could I have been defeated by the likes of you? Why had the universe been tipped in your favor? I embarked on a crusade to the inner recesses of what you call the soul. I studied fungoid meditation, attended anger management class, dabbled in yoga, attended more anger management class, until finally I went on a spirit walk on planet Quantos. It was here I finally found what I had been missing. The Great Clock! With the clock under my control, I'll be able to wrong all the rights in the universe. Every villain who has ever stumbled will get a do-over. Every protagonist's triumph will be reversed! Until finally, a new present is created, in which the heroes always lose! <laughs> Hang on, cadets! <laughs> well, that was five bolts wasted. <laughs> How do you like my Asteroid Finger 5000? I had it installed in the event I ever needed a super ironic death scenario! Nefarious, you're making a mistake! Time will tell. Bon voyage, my old nemesis! <laughs> <laughs> a lonely train on its way to Lonely Town. So help me, it's true. All aboard to Lonely Town. Choo choo, Janice. Choo choo. Whoa! 
moments you try and escape at those moments. Several hours later on a planet. Oh, this is the fun part. Okay. This so is the my cut's still not over yet, is it? Uh, not quite yet. Okay, well, I'm going to continue to mute my mic and work on my iTunes list. You can tell me when it's over. What is this? It appears the Sony protected us during the crash. You must not reach the clock. Thanks for the help, guys. What? I'll give them back. <laughs> Alright, it's over now. We do not have a lot of time. Yo. Let's do it. We're gonna go get some bitches and get some money, yo? Uh, well, no, the evil villain just uh, captured us and chucked us off into space. Without all our stuff. So, what about those bitches and that money? This is gonna have to wait for another day because I just can't wait. <laughs> well, actually, I think this will be the end of the episode. This is a good spot to end it. Now that we're at a new planet, we're in Gimlock Valley. Looks utterly destroyed and desolate. Is, is that where Gimli chills, yo? From no. Lord of the Rings? Oh. No. Well, why not, man? Gimlock? No. Gimlock, Gimlock. Gimli, Gimlock. dwarf, Gimlock. No, no. shut up, Shots. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Rate, subscribe, do all the good stuff next time on Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Eh, we'll, we'll continue our way to Gimlock Valley, one of my favorite places. All right, see you guys later. Thank you, Gimli. <laughs> Did you say Gimlock?